I think every few years there's a handful of huge games that are announced or rumored that everyone is talking about and getting excited for. In recent memory, the hype for Red Dead Redemption 2 was massive, which led to that game selling over 20 million copies in just the first few months of its release. And even The Last of Us Part 2, a PlayStation 4 or maybe PlayStation 5 exclusive, announced a little too early is something many are dying in anticipation for. Looking to the future, even with what happened to Bethesda's recent game Fallout 76 and all the controversy and criticism still surrounding that developer, I still believe the Elder Scrolls 6 will garner crazy levels of interest. But in terms of hype, anticipation, and just excitement, I do think Cyberpunk 2077 currently holds the top spot, and there are various reasons for why that is. To name a few, the 48 minutes of gameplay revealed in the first actual trailer of Cyberpunk 2077 looks spectacular. CD Projekt Red's most recent big AAA open world game, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, is arguably the best game of this generation, and lastly, CD Projekt Red's consistent pro-consumer actions and comments is refreshing in a gaming industry full of vultures. Anyway, just to showcase how excited people are for this game, look no further than the official Cyberpunk 2077 Twitter account's announcement that the game will be shown at E3 2019. The amount of interactions just for that post has been insane, and the speculation certainly is wild right now. With Sony confirmed to be not having a press conference this year, and being that Cyberpunk 2077's first real trailer was shown last year on Microsoft stage, I think it's safe to assume that whatever is planned for Cyberpunk 2077, it will be again presented on Microsoft stage. Now there have been some reports floating around that at E3 2019, Microsoft will be revealing their next generation Xbox consoles, and I can only wonder if maybe CD Projekt Red showcases some gameplay footage of Cyberpunk 2077 running on one of these mysterious next gen consoles, and potentially an announcement that Cyberpunk 2077 will indeed be a cross-generation title. Obviously, it's too early to say for certain, as who knows how much Microsoft is planning to even reveal their next-generation Xbox consoles at E3 2019, considering the consoles likely won't be coming until sometime in 2020 at the earliest. Now, the much more plausible scenario that could happen is that new Cyberpunk 2077 gameplay footage is revealed, along with finally a release date that I suspect will be in the early part of 2020. Again, this is all just speculation for now, but the good news at the very least is that an E3 2019 reveal is confirmed, and for those unaware, the event takes place from June 11th to the 13th, and typically the conferences take place a few days before the actual event, so I imagine the Xbox conference will happen on June 9th this year, but that's just an educated guess for now. The Xbox head Phil Spencer has been teasing a big E3 for Microsoft, so I can only wonder if Cyberpunk 2077 is a big part of that plan. But for those actually planning to attend, to E3 2019, it sounds likely the Atlantis Bar will return at this year's event, so this may be a place to check out if you want a beer or maybe the chance to run into the legend that is Mike Pondsmith. But outside of the big E3 2019 event, I'm not too sure if we're going to see any more reveals from now to then. In my last video, I speculated maybe we could see something at PAX East, considering CD Projekt Red has showed up at that event in the past to showcase new footage of The Witcher 3 at the time. Will it happen this year? I'm starting to have doubts out, because I really do believe E3 is when our next big reveal is coming, but never say never, especially with CD Projekt Red. Now recently, Kotaku highlighted the financial troubles facing CD Projekt's digital store GOG, which unfortunately led to apparently at least a dozen staff being laid off. Within Kotaku's article, Jason Schreier received a statement from GOG, which pretty much confirmed the firings and attempted to clarify what was happening, although one employee who was laid off told Jason Schreier that this was a move made by a company in dire straits. That person estimated that the layoffs had hit 10% of GOG staff. That former employee would further add, we were told it's a financial decision. GOG's revenue couldn't keep up with growth. The fact that we're dangerously close to being in the red has come up in the past few months, and the market's move towards higher developer revenue shares has, or will, affect the bottom line as well. Which, just an FYI, I think it's obvious the Epic Game Store, which launched just a few months ago, is having an impact. But to the rest of this statement from this now former employee, I mean, it's just an odd situation, like things got really desperate really fast. I know that February was a really bad month, but January on the other hand was excellent. We were in the middle of a general restructuring, moving some teams around, not unprecedented, but layoffs that big have never happened before. Furthermore, it was also stated within this article that CD Projekt Red's latest game, Gwent, has been a financial disappointment, according to two people who work for the studio. And Jason Schreier would then float the question of how much pressure is on the Cyberpunk 2077 team to get the game 
out as soon as possible. To that, what I can say is, I think it's clear that there is indeed pressure, maybe even expectations that Cyberpunk 2077 will or needs to be a hit, and I think it's in the best interest of the entire company that Cyberpunk 2077 is as polished and complete as possible come release day. The motto for this game has been, it's coming when it's ready, and I truly believe CDPR means that. So do these financial issues impact Cyberpunk 2077's development? Personally, I don't think so too much. Maybe the executives are sweating a little bit right now, but I think it just means CDPR will try to ensure the game is top tier quality for when it's released. As I mentioned to start the video, the anticipation and hype is insane right now, and I truly believe if Cyberpunk 2077 is a hit, like many of us believe it will be, that will translate to massive sales that could exceed what even Red Dead Redemption 2 is able to achieve recently. But continuing on, something that's been going on this last week is a little mini behind the scenes documentary of CD Projekt Red coming from PlayStation. There was only four episodes and they only lasted a few minutes each, but the final episode we did get a few interesting things said about Cyberpunk 2077, such as the development of this game has not been entirely smooth, like CDPR level designer Miles Tost explained how a lot of ideas have died and then were resurrected to only die again, which is why for them revealing the whole game is something they can't and haven't been able to do because things change, which is completely understandable. As we explored in a recent news video, revealing too much of a game too early can end up biting you in the arse, especially when almost every aspect appears downgraded. But the highlight of this specific video are the comments made about how much development remains. Cyberpunk 2077 may no longer be the mystery it once was, but work on it is far from over. True to the promise made in 2013, it's still coming when it's ready. Now, if you're unaware, the voice actor of The Witcher is Geralt, is the narrator of this mini-documentary, that's why his voice sounds so familiar, but in my opinion, this little clip doesn't change my belief that this is an early 2020 game. I understand there have been various hints and questionable leaks that indicated a 2019 release was possible, and it still is, but I think if our next reveal is indeed at E3 2019, I believe a 2020 release date will be announced. CD Projekt Red producer Richard Borzomowski said last year, I believe at Gamescom, that Cyberpunk 2077 was playable start to finish, and I think a lot of people didn't realize that there's still a ton of work needed to be done, such as implementing tons of side content and polishing every aspect of this experience, and that takes time. So yeah, a 2019 release date is looking a little bit more doubtful, but I don't believe we'll be waiting much longer for this game. There's a good chance one year from today's date, we're all playing Cyberpunk 2077. Now moving on to some actual new game information, as usual, the Cyberpunk 2077 team has been answering questions regarding the game on both Twitter and their official forms, and right now, I want to point out some of these responses. We'll start with Twitter, in which this one user asked if we would have some female sidekicks in Night City accompanying us, and the official Cyberpunk 2077 Twitter account would respond saying, Jackie is one of the companions that will just tag along during some missions, and he is just one of the few. To answer your question, there won't be a female version of Jackie, but for sure there will be female companions that will show up during your playthrough. Maybe that was something that was obvious, but of course there will be a variety of characters that accompany us for whatever mission that we're taking on. It's just that in the 48 minute video, Jackie was with V for that specific situation. I'm sure we'll meet and interact with all kinds of unique personalities within missions. One example that was given of a female companion is T-Bug, a character briefly shown in the E3 2018 trailer and the gameplay demo. But next, a user would ask if there would be a futuristic battle royale, because you know that seems to be the hot trend these days, and the official Cyberpunk 20 77 Twitter account would respond with a gif of a sloth that says, how about no? Not much else needs to be said about that response because even if multiplayer is added one day, it would be nice not to see CDPR chasing trends like many other developers have been. Additionally, we did have somebody else once again ask the question of if there will be microtransactions, and CDPR once again delivered with a clever response. Another user asked the same question, let me just say, I don't know how many responses are needed, but CDPR has said multiple times times no microtransactions. Heading now to the official CD Projekt Red forums, we have one user asking, I'd still dig if you could quasi-join MaxTac as non-major group and work with them, whether as part of the game, a DLC, or as a mod, and CDPR's Lilea would respond by saying, you won't be able to join them, no, since Cyberpunk's value freedom the most. You'll be able to work for many factions, think more of a gang, but you won't ever want to permanently join them, though. Also, for those unaware, MaxTac or Psycho Squad is the team that appeared in the teaser trailer 
Network that came six years ago. Max Tech specializes in combating psychos, individuals who overuse on implants and substances that boost or otherwise alter the human body. So this squad is tasked with taking down these psychos when they go on a rampage, you know, killing a lot of people, something regular police may not be able to handle. And I also bring up this squad because it was later confirmed in another post that Max Tech will appear in the game and we'll see them around. But next, another CDPR dev, Ben Zen, would discuss some of the weather conditions we may encounter in Night City. He would state Night City's a big place and our gameplay demo only showed a part of it. We also have a day and night cycle as well as different weather conditions. So if you're looking for neon drenched streets at night with heavy rain coming down, you will get that as well as bright colorful days. Now, another user would ask about the potential of mod support in which CDPR's Lilea would respond saying, as for if mod support will be our priority at some point, we will see. Right now we want to fully focus on making the game its core features and so on. What happens next? Nobody knows. But we do know that the community would love to use and create some mods. It is something we will keep in mind for later though. To the last question on the forum, someone would ask about the difference between the male and female voice actors and whether reactions or dialogue would be different in some situations, in which again CDPR's Lilea would state, at this point from what I know the lines might be slightly different. But when it comes to how many of them, what exactly will be different, it's a bit too early to say. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention this, but let's quickly go over to Reddit because there are a couple of question and answers I wanted to mention because I found them a little bit interesting. Once again, the same CD Projekt Red employee, Lilea, answered a question about V's current apartment that was mentioned in the gameplay demo, and her response was, players will be able to own and inhabit several locations, but this is as much as I can tell you at this point in time. And then she would go on to answer another question regarding how our choices will impact Night City in the game's story. And her response was, your choices throughout the game, big and small, do matter. So expect to see them reflected in the game ending, and there will be numerous endings which will depend on your said choices. But to our last few pieces of news, first this is actually pretty big. According to a LinkedIn page, the Witcher 3 game director, who I cannot pronounce his name, has become Cyberpunk 2077's design director. This is pretty big news considering just recently the now former Cyberpunk 2077 creative director Sebastian Stapian left for a job at Blizzard. My original belief was that work was wrapping up and this wasn't anything to be concerned by, and still I don't think this means anything is going wrong, but if anything it should be good news knowing that the Witcher 3 game director is steering the ship now. Additionally, it also looks like he received a promotion to Vice President of Game Development. So overall, I think this is all good news for Cyberpunk 2077 and probably future games coming from CD Projekt Red. Some of the other news that has come recently is this Valentine's Day image, which is nothing more than just CDPR showing their love for the community, and additionally this post on their Twitter account being their 2077th post, which is a touching letter to the Cyberpunk 2077 fanbase from the CDPR community team which manages the social media accounts for Cyberpunk 2077. Anyway, things are certainly heating up, and I really do wonder if we'll see any sort of reveal before E3 2019. But as usual, this is the latest on Cyberpunk 2077, mixed in with some of my opinions and speculation, but let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. But thank you for watching, make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video, or found any informative value, and make sure to follow my other social media accounts for updates on new videos, links are always in the description below. I'm most active on Twitter giving opinions on news that I don't always get into video form, so make sure to follow me over there. Also check out my Discord for all sorts of discussion on games, and again, thank you for joining, consider subscribing for more videos like this, and I'll see you later.